I feel like everyone's looking at us. That's not just a feeling. Everyone is looking at us. This dress sucks. I knew I should have worn something else. The dress is perfect. And you look great. But most important thing, act natural. If anyone speaks to you, you just smile. So do you want me to act natural, or do you want me to smile? I didn't know you had a sense of humor. Only when I'm scared to death. Ryan, I'm delighted you could attend. Always a pleasure she'd come in. I uh, would like you to meet my assistant, Elizabeth. I was unaware that American diplomacy was undertaken with such disarming charm. The pleasure is mine, Elizabeth. Gentlemen, I give you back your host. We'll talk later on that. Until then, Ryan. He hates me. The whole time he was imagining my head on a stick. I think he found you charming. I should be flattered. Yeah, I'm gonna shake some hands, blend in, find some more quiet. You know what you have to do. Uh, Ambassador, you're a sight for sore eyes. I need to find a quiet place. انها مريحة جدا طاهرة سابقة كانت بطيئة نعم التسوق ممتع جدا في لندن There's a large painting in one of the rooms upstairs. Behind it is a safe. The documents we're looking for are inside. But there are guards and cameras, so you have to be careful, you got it? It hurts like hell when you're too far away. An office with a portrait of the Sheik. This is the place. There's gotta be a switch somewhere. To move the painting. Find it, Aiden. حسام، اذهب والكي نظرة على مكتب السفير حاضر، سأذهب حالاً شيء غريب على الشاشة Shit! The camera was on! Oh, the card's coming! Don't move anything or he'll sound the alarm! أنا في المكتب كل شيء في مكانه Got to think There must be another way
This is the place. Ida, you know what to do. Crap. You gotta distract the guard first. Okay. Nobody will be able to monitor the main office now. We should be safe. You can open the safe. Oh, good job. Now we have to read the documents. Make it quick. I can't hold on much longer. Okay, now don't move. Sorry, I can't do anything to help you. It's Ryan. Ryan! I was just wondering if you got my email. What, what, wait, what, what email? The one I sent three days ago. You know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. <laughs> anyway, it, it's too late now, so maybe another time? Shit. 
Shit, I'm so sorry. I... You know, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Just... Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. Now I get why you blasted my computer. You didn't want me to see Ryan. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Fuck this. Fuck this! We're not gonna start this again! I'm not yours, Aiden! I can have a relationship with whoever I want. This is my life. Oh, do you fucking hear me? This is my life! You know what? I happen to think Ryan is great. Right? He's charming, he's intelligent, he's funny. And I think I'm falling for him. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look. Books, okay, on the bookshelf. Okay, great. Right, the trash can in the kitchen. Gotta find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Asian beef, huh? I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Curried chicken with oven baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Pizza delivery. I mean, it's. Not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. Yeah, Asian beef. I mean, it looks suitably exotic. <laughs> as long as I don't manage to fuck it up. Thanks, Aiden.
So far, so good. Use a walk. Finish cooking. Jeez, I better hurry or we'll have nothing to eat. Ginger. It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac. I mean, it's not in the recipe, but... It can't hurt. I mean, I need all the help I can get. All right, add the sake for flavor. I think I'm beginning to like cooking. Ryan, you are gonna love this. Oh crap, crap, he's early. You know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Ryan. All right, dirty clothes in the basket in the bathroom. Take a shower first?
should I wear? Oh, hi, Ryan. I've been waiting for you. Hot. He is gonna see a whole new side of me. You might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? This date is going on. Period. Come on, Aiden, don't be a pain in the ass. I didn't behave yourself. This is important to me, and I'm counting on you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me, so. Why don't you sit? Um, I'll get the, um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> cool apartment. Huh? Yeah, thanks. I didn't. For fuck's sakes. You want me to open it? No, no, I'll do it. <laughs> to your new apartment. To my new apartment. <laughs> Wow, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the agency found it for me and all furnished and everything, which is it's actually the first place I've ever had, just by myself. So it's weird getting used to the idea of it. <laughs> and how about you? Where, where do you live? Oh, I uh, have a place just outside of town. It's small, but you know, it's got a little garden. It's pretty quiet. Did you, did you grow up here? No, no, I, I was born in Oregon. You know, my parents and brothers still live there. But I, I moved out when I was 16. 16? Oh. Did you get, get kicked out or something? Uh, well, things were pretty chaotic at home. My, my stepfather liked to beat me when he had too much to drink, and, uh, I just decided to get out before one of us went too far. Um, how did you end up joining the CIA? I, uh, I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, tried the army, you know, for the action, travel, adventure, <laughs> long enough to realize that wasn't for me. <laughs> and when a CIA agent approached me, I should probably, you know, I'm gonna go check on the dinner because this cooking thing, it's a whole new adventure <laughs> for me. 
You need help? No, but why don't you go sit and more wine would be nice. <laughs> okay. Ah, Asian beef, right? Yeah. No, I was sent to China for a year. I love Asian food. Oh, well, do not get your hopes up because this is probably the second time that I've cooked and I would rather not talk about the first time. Mm. This is good. Good. I'm I'm glad I'm glad you like it. So we've been working together now for what? What? Two years? I know almost nothing about you. Well, I mean, there's nothing much to say. No. I grew up with my parents on the DPA campus, and then, and then Nathan looked after me, and well, I mean, you pretty much know the rest. So, yeah, your parents. Do you, uh, you still see them? No, no, I don't. I'm. I think they were just terrified about how different I was. So, Nathan and. Cole, they, they brought me up, more or less. They taught me how to cope with Aiden, how to accept myself as I am. I mean, it wasn't always easy, but you know, I'm making progress. You know, did, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Aiden? No. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a lot of stuff about the info world. Not much about Aiden. I mean, I, I don't think even he knows who or what he is. It's like, is he here now? Listening to us? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what about you? Do you have do you have any family here? No. No, my, uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see them as little as possible. <laughs> and are you, um... Are you married or anything? No, no. no but, yes, I mean, I, I, I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for uh, two years. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't work. I mean, it, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. How about you? Anyone on your radar? I've got Aiden, so. I mean, anyone in our world. You know what? Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. I has got nothing to do with this.
Hey, Aiden. Thank you. 